Hi, my name is Dr. Ross Hauser. Welcome to Fort Myers, Florida in the Caring Medical Florida office. Unfortunately, there's more and more kids getting sick at a really early age and modern medicine does all the normal tests and they can't find out what's wrong. There's kids with pressure, headaches, blurriness of vision, light and sound sensitivity. What that means is the kid doesn't, the child doesn't like bright lights or the kid doesn't like bright uh, or loud sounds. Cervical torticollis is where the kid, the child seems to have tension in a certain muscles. There's children that have imbalances, dizziness, problems speaking, fainting, brain fog, dystonia, where you know they don't move. Like the, it's almost like they don't have control of their muscles. There's kids with autoimmune disease, digestive problems, like they have all kinds of stomach ache. My stomach hurts, my stomach hurts, I'm nauseated. They have excessive body inflammation. They have blustery nausea. They just have nausea that's crazy. They have anxiety, obsessive compulsive disorder. They get diagnosed with attention deficit disorder. They have postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. They have dizziness and balance. There's kids that have all kinds of hives excessive inflammation, asthma, nobody can figure out the cause. They have various pains, they have cracking, clicking of their neck. Like all these things, all these unresolved things in kids, kids with seizures disorder, all these things can be from cervical instability. Even kids that they seem to come out, like say, say a mother had a C-section, we don't realize when they're pulling the kid out with a C-section, they gotta torque the neck. Like torque in the neck, a kid could come out with instability. They can come out with instability and have all kinds of problems, sucking, suckling problems to try to breastfeed them and all kinds of things. So if you have a child, a teenager, a preteen, an adolescent, a child that has some kind of condition, whether it's a symptom or they've given them a diagnosis but they can't tell you exactly what caused it and it's not getting better and there's no disease that's a medication deficiency. So if a kid has to be on an antacid and they're eight years old, there's a problem. Like there's a problem. They have a vagus nerve problem. You have a kid that has, you know, brain fog and they can't learn right and they've been giving them some, you know, diagnosis, ADD or whatever. You know, there, there's a cause of that. Like there's a cause. So you've got to resolve the cause. If the cause is the, pers the kid's not eating fresh food, well, the kid's got to eat fresh food. If it's be from instability, cervical instability, they got to get an assessment for cervical instability by a digital motion x-ray. And if they have to get prolotherapy, they get prolotherapy. Because prolotherapy with cervical instability can resolve all these things. It can resolve all these things. So because of cell phones and tablets and the face-down lifestyle, the kids are getting diseases that like, you know, 60-year-olds would get. And it's a very, very serious problem. So I would encourage all the parents, all the teachers, anybody who works with kids, let's not just label the kids with a disorder and then, okay, then they're gonna have that disorder their whole life. Like, everything always has a cause, so let's address the cause. And I'm telling you, a lot of kids, they have cervical instability. Like, a kid is supposed to be looking up. Like, a kid's on the ground, they're crawling, they're looking up. When a little kid, they're supposed to look up. Four-year-olds are not supposed to be looking down. Like, they're not supposed to be looking down at a cell phone or a tablet. And then even in the schools, everybody's looking down. The kid's supposed to be looking up. Like, your cervical curve, a child has a cervical curve when they're nine and a half weeks in the womb, and the cervical curve is supposed to be increasing throughout childhood. So if you stop that cervical curve, from developing, then there's tension on the spinal cord, on the brain stem. There can be blockage of cerebral spinal fluid flow. It can have serious detrimental effects on the child. So again, if you have a child, teenager, uh, you know, something's not right. And the neurologist and all the psychologists and all the people you send the kid to, they can't come up with a reason. The gastroenterologist, you got to get them assessed for cervical instability and probably once their cervical curve is corrected, their instability is corrected, then guess what? You know, their ADD goes away, their autoimmune disease goes away, their torticollis goes away, their brain fog goes away, light and sound sensitivity goes away, headaches go away, digestion gets back to normal, their uh, allergies go away, as well as all the pain. Uh, so, 
uh, please, if you have a child that has a condition that nobody seems to help, please ha get them assessed for cervical instability. Thank you.